Uh, Madam Secretary, I want to ask you to begin uh, with that day, September 11. You were at the White House. You were planning to give a speech that day on missile defense. The president was in Florida. When the first plane hit the World Trade Center, you called the president. It seemed at that point like a strange attack, he's supposed to have said. And then you were in the Situation Room when somebody handed you a note about the second plane. Just pick up the story from there about what happened. Well, after we heard about the first uh, plane, it, we thought it might even be an accident. And then I was handed this note and suddenly I knew it was a terrorist attack if there was a second plane that had gone into the World Trade Center. And I went in to try to get the national security principles together. Uh, Colin Powell, it turns out, was in Peru for an Organization of American States meeting. George Tenet, the CIA director, they said had already gone to a bunker in Langley. And then we heard that uh, they couldn't reach Secretary Rumsfeld. His phone at defense at the Pentagon was just ringing and ringing and ringing. We looked behind us and the plane had hit the World Trade Center, uh, had, had hit the Pentagon. And about that time, I thought to myself, um, this, is, this is really an all out attack. But the Secret Service had taken over and they said, you've got to get out of here. Planes are flying into buildings all over Washington, D.C. And so I was sort of lifted and and actually levitated toward the uh, presidential um, ma management center, the emergency bunker that is there uh, for the president. And uh, from then on, it was just trying to manage the effects uh, of what had happened that day, um, a sense that it was all a bit surreal. Uh, but you don't have time to think about uh, how surreal it is or any sense of fear. You just simply have to act at that point. What was the mood in, in that bunker on that uh, terrible day? Uh, who was there? Were there too many people, too few people? Just give us a sense of what it was like inside as you wondered what was happening in the country. Well, when I arrived, two figures really stand out in my memory. The first is the vice president who was on the phone with President Bush and the Air Force had asked, should they uh, shoot down any plane that was not uh, responding properly? And uh, the president, uh, there were lawyers trying to figure out if he had the authority to shoot down what might be civilian aircraft. Uh, but he just gave the order. He said, of course, they they have to because every plane has become a potential missile. And I remember at that moment thinking what a Hobbs and choice for the president of the United States to have to shoot down potentially a civilian aircraft. And the other figure that sticks out in my mind is Norm Mineta, who was the uh, transportation secretary. And he was sitting there with a, a legal pad. Um, trying to track aircraft because we had to ground all civilian aircraft. Again, every plane had become a missile. It was calm. Uh, people were going about their work. Um, I got on the phone with President Putin because our forces were going up on alert and you didn't want Russian forces to respond. He told me, uh, don't worry, um, our forces are coming down and we've canceled all exercises. And I remember at that time thinking, wow, the Cold War is really over. And the other thing that I did was to get a message out through uh, the Deputy Secretary of State, Rich Armitage, that uh, the United States of America has not been decapitated because the pictures were so terrible, we couldn't speak. You don't want at that moment friend or foe to think that you're not uh, operating. And so it was calm. People were going about their work. But um, after a couple of hours, apparently a lot of people had come into the bunker and uh, the oxygen levels started to drop. And so the Secret Service was going around saying, you're not essential, you have to leave. You're not essential, you have to leave. And, and that was a kind of weird moment uh, there in the bunker.